Hi, welcome to my tutorial on randomness inside of the Game Maker 0.8.1. So maybe you want to talk to an NPC and a random door opens, or you want some sort of gameplay to be different each time the player goes through it. I'll show you how to do that. First, we're going to place uh, a few doors down. We'll put down four in total, and we'll put up some walls in between just to give them some immersion as well. Hold down shift and it builds upwards. Perfect. Um, and we'll go ahead and put down an NPC that we can talk to to um, activate one of the random doors. We'll go ahead and select all four doors. You can hold down shift and click on each one. Get rid of the behavior that's on it and type in door. Nothing comes up for client, which is single player. So you need to go to synchronized for multiplayer and click door. This still works in single player games, so no need to worry. Okay, we'll get rid of trigger. And now we'll select the first door. And we need to interact with it to open it. But we're going to change that. So we're going to say uh, door one. And we're going to go on each one and change the message. So it's all in order. Door two. This one here is door three. And this one here is door four. Perfect. Now we have an NPC. We're going to give him a speaker component. We'll take away the um, text and the display. We'll just make it one second and look at target. Yes, we do. And rotation duration, the time it takes to face the detected avatar. So we'll just say zero, so it's instantly looking at us. Uh, we want to interact with the NPC. And the message to send once we interact with the NPC is um, talk.1. Awesome. So I'll press tab to show you what that did. When you go and talk, he rotates instantly. Uh, but a message has been sent out, but we don't have any place for it to go. So we're going to go put down a numpad. And on this one, we're going to have an asker behavior. So we'll go ahead and put in our asker. This one here will be talk.1. And we can go ahead and put in, uh, would you like to open a random door? And we'll say yes. And we'll only have that option. And then we'll say door.rng, which is random number generator. And we'll go ahead and make this invisible and no collisions so it doesn't bother us. So we'll go ahead and press tab. Now when we talk, we got the um, message popping up. But no door opens. So now we've got to build our random number generator system. All right, so this is the uh, fun part. So we'll go ahead and put down, uh, we're gonna put down some blocks and leave a space in between. And we'll go ahead and hold shift to snap right in the middle of that block. We'll get rid of the behavior and we'll go ahead and add a speaker. We'll get rid of the text. Uh, one second, we don't wanna look at the player and edit logic. We're going to uh, put one as the detection range. So it's as small as possible. And we're going to detect specific tags in range. And that tag we're after is uh, drop. We'll just call it drop. So when a specific tag is in range um, and that tag is drop, we will send a message door one door one. Fantastic. Now we can control D to duplicate that and put it hold shift and make sure it snaps in the middle of the square. Edit the logic. Uh, we'll keep everything the same, but we'll have the message door two. Then we duplicate that again, control D shift to snap, edit logic and door three and duplicate one more time because we got four doors we need four numpads for detection 
door four. Fantastic. And we can go ahead and get rid of these two. Now we need something to drop the drop tag on top of them. So we'll go ahead and put down another numpad. And that numpad here is going to be an asset spawner. That asset spawner, you can see this is where it will spawn. So we're going to make that zero so it spawns on top of itself. But then Y, we're going to do minus one. So it spawns directly on top of the ground. And to get that is you hold shift and you just snap up twice. Each snap is half a block. Perfect. Asset to spawn. Okay, so we usually use a numpad to spawn, but because since the update, the detections now detect the whole asset. So if you get it right in the middle here, both of these will trigger. So what we've done here is we've created a asset that is uh, one by one by one. So it's uh, just a one voxel. So when it comes out, it only triggers one of the numpads and not two because it's using a small asset. So we'll go ahead and type in one by one by one. I made this in Vox edit. It's not going to have any behaviors. We'll edit the logic and the message will be the message we send here, which is door.rng. So that's the message we want. Door.rng. Perfect. And we need the tag. The tag will be drop because if we come down to our speaker and edit logic we're detecting for a tag called drop and that's what this asset spawner will do um, and we're also going to give it a component and that is a health component so we can kill it um, if we want to uh, if you want this to be reusable you can kill it but if you just want one door to open and that's it um, you don't need to worry about this okay perfect Next, we got to put down a, another numpad, hold down shift, bring it up, and then just slightly make it higher than the other numpad. Doesn't have to be too exact, it's just so you can switch between them when you want to click. And we're going to give this one basic platform. There's no basic platform in single player, you've got to go synchronized to see that. Perfect. Now we want this to go to the other end, so six blocks as the offset will directly go to the other side. We don't want any weight duration, duration and we'll make it as fast as possible. Now we need to parent this drop to the platform so it moves with it. Because right now, nothing happens. So we'll just make this uh, platform holder and we'll rename the one underneath to platform drop. And now we go to our hierarchy in the bottom left. And in here we can type in uh, platform and it will bring up the assets that only have the word platform in it. And we will parent this object to the holder. So now when the holder moves, so does that. Perfect. We'll just move that up a bit, make sure that's still working. Perfect. All right. So now when we press tab, you can see that our platform's already moving. And when we talk and we press yes, it dropped on number two. You can't see it at the moment, but that's where it dropped and it opened up door number two. If we can time it to open up number four, it will open up number four. Simple as that. Now, if you want to kill the asset to make it reusable, um, because once two is open, you can't really trigger that again. Uh, all you do here is you add a message broadcaster and that message broadcaster will send a message to kill. And we want to kill uh, specific tags in range. We'll lower the range and that will be the drop. And it will kill it when we send a message to, 
which opens the door, for instance. So when a door opens, uh, we can send a message to uh, kill drop. And we can go ahead and put that on all the doors. So when one of them opens, it will send a message to kill drop, kill drop. And kill drop and that will trigger the message broadcaster so the message we need to wait for is kill drop and that will kill off the um, the asset that comes out because the default message here is kill for health and it has the tag drop and that is it that's how you um, kill off that asset to make this whole thing reusable again I hope this has been useful. If you have any questions, just message me on Discord. Have a great day.